What is going on, guys? It is Mr. Boozit here, a.k.a. Alan. And we're at the Mustang, and Alan, too. We are changing the grill on his Mustang. Uh, it's from S S550 Parts. I'm gonna get that down. I'm gonna get it down here in a minute. Um, there's a bright light here, so that's why I'm shining. Um, we don't really know what we're doing, but we're gonna figure it out. We just have to cover off, which, like, these clips that go right here, the person who invented those, off yourself, because they were a pain. So, we're doing this now. You take the whole bumper off to do it. We don't really know what we're doing, but we're going to figure it out. Right? Together. Together. Yep. Um, so, yeah. This is going to be fun. Shouldn't be too hard. At least we don't think it should be. So, yeah. I will get back to you when I know more. So, guys. Been recording this the whole time. Once again, the footage was all, like, ranking upside down. So, I'm very upset. But either way, as you can see, we have the bumper off. Um, I explained everything that we really had to do in that, so I'm going to try and explain again with the bumper already off. I mean, you could just use it and just say, sorry, guys, for the yeah. weirdness of the video, but That's true. I mean, if it's fixed now, I just use the footage that you already got. Yeah, I'll just... It's pretty simple. But basically, we're doing it the hard way and trying not to take the wheels off. But we took the cover off, and then there's these brackets. Oh, they're not... Oh, No. Oh, they're on the thing, but obviously. You see this bracket right here on the inside? It's got two nuts on it and a plastic piece that comes off. That's the inside. And up here on the top, you have a bunch of little stupid clips that come off. Tell me that closes. Please. And then like a bajillion things right there. Look at this. What? You think this closes or something? I bet these close. It looks like they move. I don't know why. Is there any wires going to them? Because I could, I would say, I would say if they closed, then, like, especially like on a warm up, warm up it blocks the air from the fan. I'm trying to check for it. It would make sense. <laughs> I'm upset. I don't know. So, about six minutes. Luckily, it wasn't the whole video. Luckily, I do these in segments and put them together at the end so I can realize before I post them. I should just drive it like this. I think it looks better. Heard you wouldn't. Let me know in the comments if Alan should drive his Mustang like this. Because, I why mean, not? You know what's missing down here, Alan? I didn't end up losing something, though. You know what's missing down here? What? An intercooler. You're right. You know what's missing up here? Turbo. Or a Procharger. Or a Supercharger. No Procharger. I hate Prochargers. Yep. They're obnoxious all the time. They are. Now someone's in the comments can rage at you. He said it, not me. I don't care. Stop my Be problem. Mad at me. I don't like pro chargers. I I get they're cheaper. They're, yeah. And they make good power, but they don't look good, and they don't sound good. So mm. that's that's a big part of it to me. I think on like Sorry. on something like this. A supercharger because you'd have all the torque immediately. And I can get a three year 36,000 mile with the Roush Phase 1, and I'm at 726 horsepower, which I'm happy with. Yeah. I don't really want to be any more than that. Now, when you're dealing with a car like. like, like come on. I can't, I can't zoom in on here. That's gay. I don't know how to but, it, yeah. If you have like a 400, I think turbos are nice. But I also like V8 turbos, like twin turbos, like uh, Cleese McFarland's uh, Leroy. That thing's amazing. Having fun there? No, I don't know how stuff works. <laughs> and I don't know if I don't know if I already showed this in the footage or not, but I think I got messed up. This is the new grill. It's like a honeycomb grill from S550 parts. I got it at that time. I have trouble remembering that. I don't know why. So we're doing this. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun trying to learn. But it's learn. this. This is definitely the newest car I've worked on because this is a 2018. So it's pretty dope. Oh well, that's how it is. It's a little too out here. That's why my nose is red and my face. See, it's a little cold. It's a little cold. A little cold out here, boy. Let's go say hi to my girlfriend. She she got cold. She went in the car. Let's say hi to her. What's she doing? I think she's doing her makeup. Let's see if we can see her. What's she doing? She's doing that in a video. You gotta say hi. You gotta say hi. She got cold, she went in the car. 
It's actually, I feel like it's warmer in here than in the car, but that's on her, not me. Um, make sure you guys also give Alan a follow on Instagram at AEF underscore S550. Um, he's struggling. He's struggling, Alan. I'm always struggling. What else is new? Okay. okay. I'm gonna help him, and um, I'll probably do a little bit on how to put it back together. It's kind of like the reverse opposite of what we did, but since mine didn't work, I might do it. So I'll show you guys the aftermath of when it's on and how good it looks. So I'll see you in a second before we get into the next scene. Make sure you guys go check out. Thank you. There it is. There it is. GDC Gentlemen's Driving Club. Link will be in the description. Check them out. If you guys want to buy anything, make sure you use discount code Mister Boosted to get fifteen percent off. Really good closings. Really good nice. Check them out. And okay, guys, see. we got the grill out. Pretty simple. All you got, you got all these little tabs. Basically, to push. Basically, he pried down on them, and I just kind of pushed from the other side. You got all of these around here, and what we're thinking is the new one. We're just gonna have to go plit, 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 and then done, Should. and then put it back together. Should. And if any of you guys really know what this is for, we're trying to figure it out because like there's just like almost like a hose, like it's open at the end too. So we're not sure what it's for. I think it's for like moisture maybe in there, but at the same time, if it's for moisture, shouldn't it go down and not up? But I don't know. They designed it, so they know they know the reason why. So we're gonna put the new one in, and then we're gonna go. Yas. All right. It's not completely bolted up yet, but. I'll kind of give you guys a little rundown because we're my <coughs> video of us taking it apart messed up. Anyways, you're gonna have to take the wheels off, take the fender liner down, and there's like this, uh, yeah, it's like a little black piece right here that has a clip and it's two studs and like a nut and washer kind of deal. Just take those off and then it drops down. And then, like I said before, you have all the little bolts in the bottom down there. You got a bolt right here. And a bolt right here. Is there anything? Is there some bolts in the middle too? Or they're clips. Do what? Are these clips in the middle or bolts? They're like screws. So yeah, you have screws here, 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 and here, of course. And then you have the 20 in the bottom. It's really not that hard. I mean, it's just kind of a pain a little bit because the clips are annoying. But yeah, she looks. I think I'm gonna buy a kit with all of these clips on it. Looks nice. And then I can just go through Ooh, and replace the ones. Picture right there. Yes. So, Alan, are you pleased with your purchase? Yeah. Ooh, nice. I think it's sweet. I like it better than the giant Mustang in the front, but then again, yeah. I like Ford, so. Yeah. And he's talking about getting like a, uh, see, there's a Coyote 5 0 badge to put in the grill right here. Yep. It'll look pretty sweet. That'll be coming eventually. Along with the supercharger up here. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot longer. So, yeah. Plug in those lights before we forget. Oh yeah, probably should have done that before we even hung it up. But yeah, all right, let me hey get guys. back to work. Pretty much done. It looks amazing, it's very nice. Awesome, very awesome. Um, all I gotta do is now put the plastic cover, it goes up here. I leave it off. I mean, it's kind of a pain to get off, but. Um, I don't have anything to put up here either. So. Mm, okay. Trying to think how to say this. Kind of give you guys one more rundown because I know the us taking everything off got ruined. But like I said, it's pretty basic. You're gonna have this cover. Start with this cover up here. That cover has got pins, not pins, like clips here and here and other places. That pops off. You got this screw here. Screw, 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 screw. Uh, then you have a bunch on the bottom like I pointed out earlier. Then what we did is we came over here, took the fender liner out, and then there's that bracket I told you about earlier. Take that out on both sides. And then I take the bottom, the top, and those clips out. It's ready to come off. It's got these little, well, can't see it now, but there was like little dowel pins right here. Like you have like a transmission and stuff. Holds it, lifts it up, pop it out, unplug the harness from the bottom lights. She pops off. The grill has clips in it. Easy. Somewhat. Easy when I'm squeezing. And that's really about it. So, I think it looks good. Whoever designed these things. Off yourself. That, so, yeah. pain. Those are clips that are awful. But I was telling him they have those really nice tools that slides underneath it and you just, like a plier. They're very nice. Um, that's really about it, guys. So, 
You got anything else to say? I like turtles. <laughs> he likes turtles. All right, guys, that is it. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, share this video if you want. And that's about it. So I will see y'all in the next one. Later.